everybody. Welcome to the catacombs where I try to serve you up some cool classics and last buys here at Coffin Comics. Let me know when you're all in the room. Greetings and salutations. It is Monday. And not only that, we have a very special birthday here. Uh, happy birthday to Jason Jensen, everybody. Jason Jensen, who has been with us since the chaos days. Today is his birthday, and if everyone could wish him a wonderful birthday, may even send him a little video of you singing happy birthday. I don't know. You do you, but I just want to say very happy birthday to Jason Jensen. Um, thank you for all you do for us, both here at Coffin and back in the day at Chaos. Anyways, guys, hi. I'm Julian the Hooligan. Let me know who, who we got. Eric Hart, how are you? It's good to see you today, man. How's your day going? How's your day going? Life treating you well? So I just cleaning up the little bar here after uh, our soiree on Friday. Picking up all the uh, beautiful margaritas Brian made us for the closing ceremonies. So I'm gonna do uh, something really interesting today. I'm gonna do something I haven't done in a while. I'm gonna try to bring one of y'all in here to uh, do a little interview later on, on the show today. So um, if you're interested, please give me a sworn in the comments and I'd love to bring you on camera when I'm ready. So, let's get things started, shall we? Also, real quick, Carmen, you're watching. Leona, hi! Oh my god, it's so good to see you guys. Great to see you. Good afternoon to you as well. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Swan right back. Hell yeah. Man, it's great to see all you beautiful people. More Batala cards. Well, I think you might have to uh, keep your eyes open. I do have a few coming up on future catacombs and CCSN, so be on the lookout. There will be some popping up. Also, um, let's see what else we got. Pinup style books. Yeah, Carmen, sometimes I do run across them. Um, let me see. Let me see what I can find. But yes, uh, there might even be some on the store right now in the scratch and dent section. Um, Stuff like the, the pinups, the galleries, um, the masters, uh, both Harrigan and Mike Chrome. Sometimes I do have those on there. So definitely check the scratch and dent. That is will, where you will find them. And um, that is where they will live until they are sold out. So you are very welcome and you are cool too. All you guys and gals that watch us and support us, you guys are the coolest bunch of folks I have ever had the pleasure to work with and work for. Also, if anyone has an action figure they have not put a uh, finished their payments on, please, please do so. Uh, we are trying to get everyone's uh, down payments that they did last year on the figures. We're trying to get these last stragglers. So if you have put down a deposit on the Lady Death action figure, please, reach out to us in regards to paying off the balance so we can get those all taken care of, all right? It's very warm out here. I hope you guys are having a nice cool weather and hope it's nice and cool where you're at while you're checking us out. So, let's start off with today's feature. I have three of these. These are Zack the Zombie Exterminator, number one. This is the cryptic edition. The book was so nice, Brian signed it twice and there's also a signature from Mike McLean on here. So I have three available for you right now on the catacombs. They are $20 a piece. Yes, I put a COA in there. <laughs> All right. Next up, Hellwitch fans. These are the last four copies we have right now for $25. This is Hellwitch pinups, Scott Lewis returns. These are the last copies I am presenting today. Dakota um, found these for me to present to you guys. So again, round of applause to Dakota for uh, finding all these wonderful, beautiful treasures for me to present to you guys today. Jay Taylor, welcome to the show. I hope you're having a groovy day, man. All right, next up. These are also the last copies I have of these books. This is Unholy, number three. This is the Adrian cover. These are my last copies. So pretty much everything I'm showing to you guys today are it. Um, there is some scratch and dent. 
So take a look. I know a lot of people are really into the scratch and debts. Like right now, I have La Huerta Vengeance Premier Edition. I have three scratch and debt available for you today. Three Premier Editions. These are a little bit of the older ones before we started putting the chapters on them. So this is an older softcover edition, but it's still a premiere. Scratch and dent. Great deals, great deals. I think I have like three of those. I also have some more of the Lady Death Blasphemy Anthem number two sultry editions. These are also scratch and dent. So I believe I just put up five. Five today, a great deal, a great deal. Speaking of great deals, man, I'm really loving all the pictures you guys are sharing on uh, Facebook, on the Swarm Nation, Lady Death, wherever you're showing them. Look at those beautiful mystery envelopes that you all are getting. It's pretty cool. So keep them coming. Keep them coming. Whoever I bring on today, if you have a Kickstarter that you got, please show it live on camera if you'd like uh, today, if I'm lucky enough to pull you onto the show to, you know, kind of... Uh, little intimate setting where I get to know you, you get to ask me questions, I ask you questions, the whole nine yards. It's like what a really good community does here. All right, next up, I have also a scratch and dent. This is Lady Death Treacherous Infamy Metallic Jewel Edition. What happened on these ones, it uh, looks like there was a problem with the gluing, so it got kind of real gooey right in here. I tried to get it cleaned up, but it was unable to be cleaned to get all that stuff off. So, it is available, it is a scratch and dent, and I have one for you today. Jay Taylor, anything, the words that you have to get, you're like the king. Hey, Jim Patrick, what's up, man? It's good to see you. How you doing today, man? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So great to see you. Wow. Wow, what a great show I'm having today. I got all these beautiful people. Guys, welcome to the show. It's so good to see you. Well, you know, in text form. <laughs> all right. I have another scratch and dent for you today. Let me make sure I have my posting correct. This is Treacherous Infamy Hollow Foil Edition, and it is signed by Brian. This is a scratch and dent Hollow Foil Treacherous Infamy. Beautiful. Really beautiful. That really shines. Wow, that looks groovy on the camera today. Wow. I'm actually getting some nice reflective going on. With all hollow foils, I do have to say, do not look at them in direct sunlight. You could go blind. And in here, it'll just fry right through your brain with the reflections. It really bright out here. All right. Got a couple hardcovers for y'all. I have uh, three Lady Death Treacherous Infamy hardcover editions. These are scratch and dent. Three available right now on the catacombs. You guys notice I didn't put any links on because what I'm finding is sometimes Facebook um, doesn't like the links. So we're going to go without them for a little while until we get figured out. But Jimmy's uh, behind the scenes loading up links if you need them. So definitely uh, don't be shy. Say, hey, I need some links, Jimmy. And Jimmy will definitely put them up there. Jimmy's on top of it. He is the director of the show. I couldn't do what I do without him. And I think him and I make a great team. All right, guys, here we go. For those who missed out, I have for you today, this is the last three copies, Lady Death Scorched Earth Control Virgin Art Edition. Three left. This again, um, I'm flattered, just David Harrigan and all the artists this year have really um, evolved uh, for this year's editions, I feel. They've really stepped it up. They've, uh, the some artists that I'm used to seeing their art, um, I was like, whoa, blown away. I, I, you really just switched it out. So bravo to the artists here at Coffin Comics. Um, they have really been doing an amazing job and just showing off some really beautiful talent and really kicking it up a notch for y'all. So we salute you artists. All right, so La Muerta fans, I have for you today, I found these. This is uh, La Muerta Vengeance. This is the Metallico edition. These are the last copies I'm presenting today. 
And I will be uh, keeping them on until they sell out. So have no fear. It will be here, at least for a little while. All right, and I have exactly, let me see how many copies did I pull Cedric? There's six copies of that available. That's all that's left. Uh, so once they're gone, next you know, it's all gonna be Vault Editions Latin. I don't think I have any of those yet. All right, you know what? That is everything I have for you guys today. Um, can you give me the third copy too? <laughs> uh, let's see. Jim, you, you're gonna be at Swarmfest, right? Who's coming to Swarmfest? I wanna see all y'all on Swarmfest. So here's what I'm gonna do. I haven't done this in a while. Excuse me for the perspiring. It gets really warm in here with the lights and whatnot, but I just wanna see if I can bring one of y'all on camera, uh, do like a little, fun Q&A, kind of like what I used to do before we figured out we had all these weird technical issues. So I'm going to do this again. So, oh, Jay Taylor's going to be there. What do you mean, Jim? You're kidding. Jim, you're coming to Swordfest, dude. I have to see you. I got to see all you guys that are coming in. Jessica Hartman, right on. We're going to see you there. That is awesome. All right. I would like first person to say Swarm on here. I'd love to bring you on camera and do a nice little fun interview with y'all. Let me go ahead and see. Come on, let me get a sworn in here. I wanna bring one of you beautiful people on camera with me. It's been a while, it's been a while. Um, it's definitely something I would love to do. So let me get a sworn, first sworn gets on camera. Anyone, anyone? Oh, I know you're at work, which sucks, Jay. I think everyone's at work. What? I'm sure you look fabulous. Come on. Come on. Don't be shy, guys. Come on. I, I want to basically see, especially if you got your Kickstarter on, I want you to show off your goods. I want you to show you those beautiful books you've been getting. All right. Says we're joining us. Let me go ahead and bing. Bam. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see if this is going to work. Let me turn up the volume real quick. Bing, bing, bing. Is it gonna work? Of course. Bam, all right, all right. Can you bring him on camp? Really? Really? Hey! Yes, it worked! How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm excellent, yay, it's working. <laughs> <laughs> he told me to rotate it, and I was like, oh, rotate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so introduce yourself to the group, if you would, please. Okay. I'm Stephanie Jones. I'm from Alabama. All right. How and I love Lady Alabama? Death. Right yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. Have, have you uh, been with Coffin long? Uh, what got you into Coffin Comics? Um, I guess Lady Death, because I just... I uh, started reading the comic books and um, just like the way her character is and everything and more and more I read about it, you know, the more I like it, so. Who's your favorite artist? Oh my goodness. Uh, Dawn McTeague. Oh, she does some great work. What did you think of the stuff she did for the La Muerta? Uh, oh my goodness, so good. So yeah. good. She She's definitely like, knocked it out of the park. I told her, I said, I can't, I can't be that patient with painting. I, I don't see how you can do it, man. That's yeah. just amazing. It's so yeah, she amazing. definitely did some great work for us. I, I was shocked, like I say, uh, looking at all the editions, um, I was like, whoa, that's Witchman? Holy cow, that's stunning. I mean, just really, really I know. impressive work. It is. It really is. Now, did you uh, back the uh, Cataclysmic uh, Majesty Kickstarter? No, I didn't get to do the ticket Kickstarter. I didn't have the money at the time, but I did get my comic books in the other day. Oh, what'd you yeah. get? Show them off, girl. Okay, okay. <laughs> I even did a YouTube the other day. Tried to with my little man around, so. Okay. Hi, Karen. So I got... This one, 
you can see it. Oh, hang on, I'm in my hand here. Ah, there we go. That one. We all have a cola with oh, it. Oh, nice. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. Nice. And then I got this one. Which has a cola on the back. <laughs> and I got this one. Ooh, beautiful witchman. Yeah, I really like that one. Um, I hadn't seen her much in purple, but I like her in purple. Um, and then I've got the other one another day. Let me get that one out. Oh, nice. Billy Tucci. Yes. That's a great cover. That's a really beautiful cover. Thank you. Yeah, I think so too. And I've already actually read this one. Try to see if I can get it in. There we go. I really like that one. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, here's a question. You've been a part of this group for a while. Oh, you are lucky to get out. I, I think we're sold out of that already. That flew out of here like crazy fast. No way. What did you say? Say it again. I'm sorry. Yeah, those went fast. <laughs> those went really fast, um, which is interesting. Yeah. I was like, holy cow. Here's my question for you. You... What does the Sworn or the Fiends, what does the community mean to you? And what does Coffin Comics mean to you as a fan? Um, hmm. So, um, it's a good question. Uh, well, I do. I do know. I also do. Um, hang on. There's a back leg. Hang on a second. That's annoying. <laughs> I do. Um, I've done um, like write ups before and stuff. And I've actually done some write ups on Lady Death. Like kind of like thinking of what would like I would love to see another m movie of hers, like a second movie. Mm hmm. And like, um, create like a script up or something like that. And uh, I don't know. Just I don't know. That's a good question. It's, just... <laughs> it's funny because it, it's when I asked it. It's like um, sometimes people are stumped because they're they're kind of uh, thrown off that um, I would ask a question like that. Yeah, I, yeah. You know, I, I the one thing I've noticed about the community is. Um, everyone seems to have everyone's back it's just a really amazing community of people and everyone's supporting each other especially when people are down um, oh yeah and that's what i think is really important and what do you see when you're on the facebook pages and seeing the post and especially this whole hell witch versus uh lady death uh memes going on those things are getting hilarious yes and did she win did lady death win or did hell witch win You'll have to find out. It hasn't oh, even we happened don't know yet. yet. Okay, we don't know yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, um, every time I'm on there, it's so supportive. I see, you know, supportive comments. Um, is there, you know, keeping track of people that are not doing what they need to be doing? Everybody's got each other's back, like you said, you know, uh, artwork, you know, everybody's being very, you know, positive and, um, encouraging and everything, and I like it, you know. No, I, I agree. I, I think we definitely have a, a wonderful group of people, and I like that it's growing. And what's cool about the groups is they're so accepting of new readers and new fans or people that haven't been seeing uh, Lady Death in years and or rediscovering the character here yeah. at Talking Comics. Um, that's one thing I really like. There doesn't seem to be this elitist uh, attitude um, toward others. It's more like, welcome to the group. You're part of the family. Um, I, that's what's always impressed me about both the fiends and the swarm, personally. Oh, yeah, yeah. And also, like, you know, I know she seems to more like me, like a sex symbol or whatever kind of thing, but she's not just that. It's, it's her character. It's she's very i've even read a comic book where she was helping a child be in traffic you know 
Yep. So it's more than that, you know, and that's a big passion of mine, actually, learning to be a um, advocate for um, anti-human trafficking. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I thought that was an interesting aspect because that kind of, when I was reading um, that chapter, I was just like, whoa, she realized there's an innocence here that she needs to get out because he doesn't belong. And that really, to me, was just like, wow. Um, I kind of didn't expect that. And yes. I really thought it was just like, oh, oh, that's cool. Because she realizes you're not supposed to be here. I got to get you out of here. Exactly. Just, the whole battle she was going through to, to make sure he made it. And yeah. then, you know, it was, it was just really cool. It was really cool. And um, I definitely like uh, the world building we're doing. Um, what are your thoughts on the coffin verse and, and how it's all coming together? Well, I've got to catch up on some of the comment rating, um, but I like I like all the different characters being pulled in. Um, I'm trying to understand on some of the characters who they are and stuff. Um, I like that her daughter's in there and her son. Um, I guess she's only have one daughter. I don't know, right? Uh, yes. Huh? Chaotica. Chaotica. Yeah, Chaotica. Um, yeah, she's a cool character. I really yeah, like Yeah, she is. He is. I like how he drew her. It's like very lady, lady death, but she's her own character. You know, she's her Great. own person and stuff like that. And um, I'm very interested in the, the part of her mom because in the beginning, her mom was so innocent mm -hmm. because of Matthias, Matthias, or how you say it. But then it's like later on, it makes it look like she's actually evil. It's interesting that I like that the Brian is carrying over stuff from the, the chaos stuff too, that it, it really complements it. And it's like, okay, here's, you know, what happened after chaos. And then boom, she's been asleep for a while. And, you know, who put this curse on her? And I thought that was a great way to reintroduce her to uh, readers. I thought that was a perfect way to do it. Oh, I think so too. Yeah, yeah, and I'm glad. I'm glad there's always a story, but beforehand because if I haven't read in a while, it's like I don't know what's going on, you know, kind of stuff. So. But yeah. Well, is there anything you'd like to say out there to the swarm and the fiends? Are you going to make it to Swarm Fest? Where's that at? Mesa, Arizona. Here. Arizona. Can we go to Mesa, Arizona, honey? Go to Swarm Fest. Awesome. <laughs> my husband says you know, Arizona is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if you can. Here's make my hubby. It. Here's my hey, hubby. Hey, hubby. Hey. Welcome to the show. Great to see you. Coffin comic. I love this. This Good is a great comics, little family affair. <laughs> he wanted me to share and some stuff. Right on. Well, thank you for yeah. joining us. And if you can get it, I highly recommend going to Swarm Fest. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. All right. Awesome. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for joining me. And yes. I hope you have a great day. Make sure you stay sworn. Yes. Thank you. All right. Thank bye. you for joining us. Thank you. you. Too, bye. Woo! -hoo! Everybody. Oh, yay. That was so great. That was so great. It worked. It worked. <laughs> wow. Look at that. That was beautiful. We got to even meet her husband. This is such. I'm glad this worked, guys. Um, I I'm going to be doing this more regularly with you all. So anybody would really like to uh, join in or, you know, sometimes people are at work, which I get, you don't want to get in trouble at work. Heck no. Um, but if you're at home or on a Wednesday, you know, the show's coming up, go ahead and pop up and say sworn. And uh, if I got time, I would love to get you guys on the show. So I just got a couple things to say to everybody. Um, please, please, please. If you haven't already gotten tickets, get tickets to sworn fest. It's going to be a blast. I'm going to be there. Jimmy's going to be there. Brandy's going to be there. People from all over the world. The fans will be uniting here in Mesa, Arizona. We're going to take over. It's going to be a great weekend. For those who made it to Fiend Fest, they know exactly what I'm talking about. And Swarm Fest is even going to be better than that. And I think you guys are going to agree with me on that. Anybody got any last minute questions before I go ahead and call it a day? Um, Pardon me, excuse me, I didn't mean to burp on camera. I apologize for that. Anywho, guys, oh, whew. 
Whatever I ate is not agreeing with me today. So thank God I'm alone in the office, belching away. Anyways, guys, I just want to say a thank you, everyone, for joining me today. Jim Patrick, Stebs, Jay, Taylor. Uh, who else do I got in here? Karen Walsh. Thank you for joining. Leona, everybody who joined me today. Jessica, great to see you too. Everybody, I just want to say I got a great bunch of people. We got a great bunch of fans. And I really love our community. And I look forward to seeing it grow bigger and bigger. And everyone is just an absolute amazing individual guys out there. All right, everybody. I will be back. Actually, we'll be doing something probably later on today. So I'm sure you'll be uh, getting a notification. Anyways, guys, I'm Julian the Hooligan. I'm sworn to you. I will see you guys soon. Everybody have a great day. And just remember, it's Wednesday. So we got two more days to the weekend. I'm out. Ow!